Okay, so we're going to hop to Dodixie here, and we are going to go try to put together this Algos that we built earlier. Where'd it go? Don't look at my Vexor fits. Oh, God, there's so many. So we're going to try to put this thing together. And we're going to try to fly some level 2s and some level 3s with it and just kind of see what happens. Um, and then we'll know for sure if I is a good Eve or is a bad Eve. Oh, that's a mess. Look at all these Trigalavians. Look out, Mike Ormond. You are in danger. Oh, well. We'll never know the fate of Mike Ormond, but that's okay. So a miasmos, a Nereus, and a Myrmidon walk into a bar. I'm not currently docked in a station? What do you mean? I, I feel like I... Oh, nope. Yep, I'm flying. Okay, so we're docking up at Moon 20 here in Dodixie. We're going to see how much this fit costs here in the trade hub. Okay, so 10.2 here in Dodixie. I mean, it's kind of highway robbery. But desperate times call for desperate measures. So here we go. And then we'll say fit. And we know the stuff's here. Let's do this. Kyle. Oh, it's so gross and gray-green. We need to fix it. Oh, I only have one Algo skin. It's a sad day. But it's the Exoplanets one, and it's pretty nice. So now we are going to Ania. And while we're flying, we're going to group up our guns, and we're going to put some ammo in the guns, and then... We're going to move these drones. Don't look at my groups. I have a lot of groups. I don't even have a Vespa group. Um, but I have a Hornet group. So that's pretty good. What? What? What are you talking about? I'm not mixing drones. What? You cannot mix different types of drones in the same... Forget it. We're not even doing groups. We're just going to fly it like it is. I didn't want to put my drones in groups. Anyway. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. What is that? What the hell? What the... Cockliver backwards. Cockliver? I don't get it. Maybe someone can explain it to me in the comments. I remember there being a level 2 agent here. We're going to try a level 2 first. And then we're going to try level 3. Even if we blow up, not a big deal. This is for science. It's research. Can I put these in some other... Okay, I can put the Vespas in the Vespa 2 group. Can I put this in the Hornet 2? Why? Why? Why will you let me? Okay, these group names are lies. These are Vespa ones and these are Hornet ones. Don't let the groups fool you. Let's see who wants to give me missions. Um, Mlullerpide. You're going to give me some missions. What is this? Scout the dead space. No, I don't want this one. Um, recon is boring. I don't want it. Decline. Request. Okay, not recon. Okay. Eliminate the UDI reinforcement. Well, let's do this one. Straight up warp to the location and turn our hardener on. Because we're bosses. Acceleration gate. Fine. Let's take it without bumping into it. Let's take it without bumping into it. I said without bumping into it. Why is that an option? Alright, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, so here's a bunch of junior mercenaries and a bunch of a bunch of dorks. This is an elite one, so... We're going to launch our, our hornets here and we are going to see what is happening here. I'm going to start locking up some dudes. This one's the elite guy. I'm wondering if we should kill him first. Yeah, I think we do it, right? Let's just go, like, mess this guy up right away and see what happens. Because he's, like, elite. Everybody else we can just kind of mop up, I'm hoping. Oh, there. Oh, my drones are absolutely demolishing him. Am I even going to get a blaster hit on him? I'll just shoot from way out. Yeah, did I get it? No. That's okay. We'll orbit this guy while our drones go get that guy. It's all well and good here. And this guy's take looks like he's taking some aggro, so we're gonna actually put him back in the bay by right clicking him and saying return to drone bay. And then we'll relaunch him. What did he have? Oh, not bad. Compact micro warp drive. We were just talking about those guys. Our MWD isn't really coming in handy here. We're we're pretty slick without it. And these frigates really like to come in fast. We blew that guy up. And our drones still look good. This guy I don't think is still taking damage. I think that's from before. Wow, the tracking on these guns. Is, I'm four, meet, four meters away from that guy. I was inside of him. Okay, so this UDI mercenary is a little far away for our blasters. Oh, these guys all have stuff. What if they have pinks? So, hey, that was that mission. That was really, really easy. I'm going to see if we can get another one. But you always feel like if you leave that one guy... 
he's the guy who's going to have the pink. So you got to just get them all. I mean, you don't have to do this. In fact, it's not... It's not probably really worth, honestly, looting and salvaging until you hit level 3s. Your time is better spent running the missions, learning how to fly. Um, looting and salvage at level 3 actually feels pretty worthwhile. What does he have? Nothing. Loser. That's why you're a mercenary and not elite. Or a rookie. Just give the rookies like 3 nuclear S ammo and they're like, get out there and do us proud. Alright. So... We're just going to dock up again. We made sure to recall our drones because we're very responsible. You ran into that. You're a police captain. You should know where you're going. And then we're going to turn this in. We did so good. And now we're going to... Who's level 3 here? Is it you, Queres? No, it's Aladet and Gellerbees. See what she wants to give us. Please don't be Angel Extravaganza. Um, pick up the broken mining equipment from the mining colony. Well, let's see what happens. It's in Odot, so we gotta go fly over there. That is a cool skin. That is a, why don't I have the biosecurity, Elgo? So I have lots of biosecurity. I like these inner zone vanguards, they look cool. This one, yeah, this one, the interbus one's cool too. Ooh, that's kinda nifty. It's like we're in a jungle. Pretty, ooh, neat. Oh yeah, skins are so cool. Spirit? That's a really cool. Usually I don't like the spirit skins, but that's actually a pretty neat one. Might have to pick that up. All right, we're going to warp to the location and try not to die. Let's see what happens. Hardener's on because, you know, we're smart EVE players and we know what we're doing. Darn it. So we've got some cruisers here. So we are actually going to launch um, our Vespas. And then, you know, whatever Hornets we can left over, which is just one if I recall correctly. And we're going to go bottom to top here. Oh, it's drones. I can't figure out who's whoever. We're just going to go like this. And you... I'm going to come kill you. Whatever. Go, drones, go. Let's see what happens here. This is a pretty... Pretty nice test of us here. I'm going to turn our MWD on because this guy's being kind of cheeky. Well, our drones took care of that guy. Maybe we can get a shot off on this guy as we fly past. Alright, let's try to blow this guy up. Alright, he's a little beefy. They're definitely testing our tank here. Um, but remember, we don't have to worry too much until we get down to 25%. That's when things start to get messy. If we if we start breaking it at 25%, then we're going to have to warp out. And we're just going to say it probably wasn't an amazing idea to do um, a level 3 in our destroyer. But you never know. Our drones are looking healthy, so we don't have to call them back yet. And our shield is not awful. I've seen awfuler. This guy's close. You can eat blasters. No, wrong guy. Oh well, whatever, we'll kill this guy instead. We improvise here in EVE Basics. <laughs> and um, our shields are dropping here, so we need to be pretty careful. We need to start eliminating some of these more injured targets. Down to 33%. Look at our shields go. But I think that they are maybe going to hold if we can get, kill enough of these guys. My heart's pounding just a little bit, but with only two guys left, I think we can recover from this. Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. That's not going to really help if the bad guys show up. Let's let's like manually pilot our way out of there. So we kind of went into a into a silly place. Well, let's see what let's see what happens if I approach the parts container. There's the broken mining equipment. I have it, and I'm going to recall my drones because I'm responsible. Okay. Nice. Well, it was capable of that one, but I, I definitely know there are some level 3s that this will not handle. That was uh, a couple spawns, three cruisers and three destroyers in that second spawn, I think, and that was that was really testing our tank. Although I was right in there blasting everything again. If I would have kept it range and let my drones do more of the work, I probably would have been a lot safer. So I should have been focus firing more there, um, because eliminating one ship is better than half damaging two ships. Um, so that could have probably saved us, um, some shield as well, but it was definitely, uh, definitely a little bit, uh, a little bit scary there. All right. Okay. So that was good. So we, you know, we did the thing and we got the stuff. Let's see what happens next. It's the score, huh? Okay. I remember this being a fairly beefy one. So let's try not to blow up. All right. Here we go. Warp drive active. 
This time we're going to take the Excel gate without running into it. We did it. Yay. I'm going to see if I can aggro these in a smart way. Like, who's linked to who here? Let's see if these guys, what happens if I go shoot this ambusher? Because we're going to have to kind of play this a little bit safer here. Let's see who aggros me when I shoot this guy. Because these are in little groups. Sorry, buddy. You're toast. So my hornet's definitely taking damage from somebody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get over here. You crazy hornet. Get back here. Well, they're killing. They killed somebody. So we're gonna we're gonna put that hornet back. We're gonna just launch a new one. This raider wants a taste of my blasters. Go pew pew. Woof. This is a lot of damage. So we're gonna we're actually gonna go for a keep it range here. Maybe we can get some damage done on this guy while we run away. So we're at twenty nine percent shield, thirty percent shield. We're gonna try to keep some. Turn our MWD on for one cycle. Now that got us uh, some decent distance at least. I'm launching Hornets. We're going to take out some of these frigates. So we've got a little bit of shield back. We're going to try to maybe get an orbit on this Giston Predator. So my, yeah, I'm in a nice tight orbit on this guy here. That should reduce some, some damage. Well, we'll see if we can blaster this guy up. And I'm definitely not having my drone split. You guys need to get your act together. So 23-21, we're starting to lose our shield tank here. So we might burn away again. We're getting good hits, good hits with our blasters on this guy. And our shield's above 25% again, so we're definitely holding tank. You can see how it's regening as they're hitting us. Reload our guns so we're not caught flat-footed. Um, where does this take me? To a more dangerous place? Probably. So we're actually going to wait a little bit for some regen here to our cap and our shield. And I'll let you know when it's over. Alright, it's over. Let's go. We're going to launch Hornets to deal with that. Uh-oh, hang on. Who are these guys? Okay, we're going to go this way first towards the rock formation. Oh, no. Who are these guys? Why is everybody showing up? Oh, they spawn near the telescope. All right, well, we're going to kind of cut this way, I think. Let's lock up this group over here, take care of them first. And what... Oh, I, there is a battle cruiser here. So we're going to have to deal with that when we get there. We're going to kind of play hoppy skippity jumpity around this rock formation over here and actually if I'm, I was a better pilot I wouldn't be flying directly into it but whatever I'm just gonna kind of fly away from everybody I'm trying to gun off because we're wasting ammo we're just gonna launch hornets and kill frigates right now there goes one there goes two shields at 20 percent one cycle of MWD to kind of take me out of range so this is everybody that's left, huh? All right, let's go. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. 11% shield, not good, not good. We're gonna MWD out. Even though that makes me a much bigger target, it lets me get away very quickly. And that, right now, is pretty much what we need. This Marauder's a beast, man. So that got me a little bit of range. I'm going to just keep flying straight here. We're going to we're going to cycle the MWD one more time. Hopefully we can survive. We're getting a little bit janky here. Okay. So we've only got the Primus left. Which is like the main guy. Man, he really packs a wallop. Oh, we have this Phalanx too. We're going to go to his precious radio telescope. All right, forget it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Still a little outside my optimal when I'm hitting shots. Of course, almost everything is outside my optimal, so I have to kind of go for the fall off. All right, he's done. We're gonna tight orbit this Primus, and hopefully we can. There, no, there we go. We're up above 25% shield. It's a beautiful thing. So yeah, those are kind of the strategies you want in this. You know, if you start taking too much damage, pull a little range with your MWD. It makes you bigger. You are going to take a burst of damage from that. But if you can get enough distance, it'll be worth it. And then go back in when you feel like you can. And make sure to always be watching your drones. If they start taking damage, right-click on the drone that's taking damage and say return to bay. And don't give them another attack command while he's coming back. So then it'll just go right back out. Once they go back into your drone bay, then they drop aggro. And then you can relaunch them right away. Might as well grab some of this loot. I'm on something awesome. Oh, yay. 
The last I can retire and give up this life of crime. Here we go. Going back to Anya to turn it in. So that was a fairly tricky one, but we did it in an Elgos. And we'll turn in our mission so that Eller De Geller Bees likes us. Oh yeah, let's have we have to click this and we gotta do this. There we go. We're amazing. And so, you know, that's that. Thanks for flying my PvE Algos with me. I hope it was fun. And I hope you learned something maybe from watching me run around and blow stuff up with my blasters and drones. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Eve Basics out.